Hello there. Today we are delving into an unsung hero of layout design in Jetpack Compose, the spacer. Less is more and sometimes space is the key. Ever felt like your UI element are too close? That's where spacer comes into play. Spacer in Compose is a simple yet powerful tool. It doesn't display content. Instead, it occupies space. Let's jump into Android Studio and see how we can use Spacer. So here first let's create a row layout with simple icon and a text. Now let's run our app and see how this is looking. So here we can see this row layout has placed these two things side by side but there is not enough space in between these composables. In this case we should use a spacer. So here we can simply use this spacer. Since we are using this row layout and this row layout place children's on the horizontal axis that's why we need to use the width modifier because we need to give the width of that spacer. So let's use this width. Let's import this TP and run our app again. So now we can say we have this 20 dp space in between these composables. Now let's use a column layout. So instead of this row, Let's change it to column. Now in this column, first remove this spacer and let's run our app and see this. So here this column layout has placed these composables above and below. So if we want to give some space in between these composables, again we can use the spacer. Since this column layout place these children on the vertical axis, that's why we need to use the height modifier of this spacer. So here let's use this height and run our app again. So here we can see we have this space in between these composables. So this spacer is quite helpful in these cases. I also have a use case of this spacer. Here see this row of icons under the picture. How we can place these icons like this? Now let's try to create this row. So here let's delete all this and let's use a row layout. And in this row layout first let's use four icons. So here I have used this row layout. In this row layout, let's use the modifier of that fill max width. So with the help of this fill max width modifier, this row will take the maximum width of that phone's screen. Now let's run our app and see. So here we can see this row has placed these icons side by side, but what we want, we want to give maximum space between the last icon and these first three icons. What we can do after the, these three icons, we can use a spacer here. And in this spacer, we can provide a weight of 1F. So what this weight means, since we are not using any weight in these icons, so this spacer will take the maximum available width of that row layout. So let's run our app and see this change. So here we can see we have achieved that same thing. That's a wrap on the magic of spacers in Jetpack Compose. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more Compose goodness. Mm -hmm.